Good morning, it's Saturday and it's really wet and dreary. Nice. Um, so I'm allowed out of the house today. I've got permission because I've been good and I've rested. So we're just going into town. John's got a haircut. I was supposed to have a haircut, but I'm not gonna have it done because I'm still not really my hair still hasn't really grown out from last time and I need to let all the weirdness that got cut into it before grow out before I can get it cut again. So John's gonna go and have his haircut and I'm gonna go and finish off my Christmas shopping in town and providing it's not too busy or wet and horrible I will show you a little bit of the town and the Christmas lights. That was epic. <laughs> um, I knew it would be busy in town, but that was like proper busy. So mm. I didn't show you around town, but then it was absolutely chucking it down with rain. So uh, you didn't really miss much because it was just manky and we had to just duck in shops and everything. But quite a disappointing shopping trip, to be honest with you. Um, I got well, I got something for my friend, but that was it really. I, I don't know. There was just... There were loads of sales on in the shops, which was kind of good in some respects, but there seemed to be, I don't know, I've really struggled to find stuff, so. Anyway, on Monday, I'm gonna take my dad Christmas shopping, so I shall have a look then as well, because I've only got a couple of bits left to get now, so that's cool. But yeah, it was heaving, even the food shops were heaving, um, and just, just chucking it down. So we're home, at home. I'm gonna put my, me comfies on and we bought a few things to do some baking thought we might have some nice treats later um so yeah we'll show you what we make um uh, gotta do some wrapping yeah yeah that's it really john's added to our festive display here on the shelf he went and bought got some more pine cones so he's got like a little pile of pine cones and more holly and he's made us all little festive. Gee. It's the weekend so we're having one of our usual Saturday lunchtime treats. The baked camembert which is all oozy and yummy with some um, pano, pan, oh I can't remember what it is called now bread and some yummy chutney and we just really like it it's quite delicious oh yeah <laughs> my little baby having cuddles with her daddy she doesn't seem to be doing too badly today but we're going to give her her medicine anyway Bet, bet. And we just thought I would show you. Oh, we've got stuff in your eyes, sweetie. Just thought I'd show you how um, we administer medicine to a guinea pig. She's actually not too bad taking her medicine, but just thought we'd show you how we do it. You can say hello. You can say hello. No. Okay. So, oh, she's purring. She's purring. Good girl. So we kind of like talk to her and stroke her and make sure that she's happy and not stressed. So she's purring. Yeah. Yeah. And so we make her like a nice cushion of um, blankies so she's comfortable. And then I've got my syringe ready by the side for her. So then I just turn her over making sure she's supported all the time and just kind of keep talking to her and making sure she's happy now you can't keep guinea pigs on their backs for too long because they don't like it but i hold her front paws and tilt her head back keeping her quite fairly firm <laughs> there you go and then she takes it and then she wants to roll over immediately so just kind of let her 
do that and then give her a bit more love just give her a bit more love in to let her know she's all right let her just make sure she swallows her medicine and then she gets a little treat yeah you do she gets a little treat of cucumber or carrot or something like that as a little well done well done betty bobbins hey hello everybody hello there we go we're happy we got our cucumber is your cucumber you got it yeah so we're happy good girl so in the mood for doing a bit of baking and on my Pinterest um, accounts if you go to pinterest.com forward slash mrs brimbles forward slash Christmas um, I've got a load of yummy tasty treats pinned that we thought we might like to try and there was this uh, white chocolate candy cane cookies recipe which I thought looked yummy scrummy and uh, you know like in the UK we're massive massively big on um, mince pies and it tends to be more American culture that goes with the cookies but I'm a big candy cane fan so I thought I would give these a go so I clicked clicked through the picture so I came to the website with the recipe on so I'm gonna have a go at um, making those I haven't really made cookies before. As I say, it's not really a um, British thing to have, like, to make cookies at Christmas that much. But, um, yeah, they sounded so good. So I thought I might give them a go. But um, I watched so many YouTube videos from people who are in the States. And I'm really jealous because, like, even things like candy canes. I love candy canes. But candy canes over here are just really, really scarce to find. Um, I mean, I was lucky to pick up a pack weeks ago and i was going to get some more because i thought i'd more, like to do more candy cane recipes because i love candy canes none can't find any in the shops anywhere so and they seem to have some really nice christmasy treats and food and stuff and i don't know what it is us brits don't have some of those nice i guess i don't know are we do we tend to do more of the traditional things like mince pies and mince and christmas puddings and things I don't know, but I want to do some baking and I can't find any of the stuff that all these recipes have, which is really frustrating. But, but yeah, I'm going to have a go. I'm going to have a go. I've never never made cookies before. So, um, yeah, I, I've got all the ingredients. Um, already got the ingredients because it's just ch chocolate, butter, sugar, flour, eggs. I've already got all that in. So, yeah, I'm going to have a go and I'll bring you along and see how I get on. They sound yummy. They do sound yummy. <laughs> it's my cookie dough. It looks lovely and it tastes so nice. I just want to eat it. Mmm nom. A uh, massive chunk of chocolate in it. Mmm nom nom nom. I'm quite impressed. I made a mess. But I'm quite impressed with the cookie dough. Oh, it goes nice. So here goes the cooking. I tell you, I've eaten more of the cookie dough, I think, than other cookies. These ones, I've put little snowflake, um, like these little sugary strand things. What are they called? I don't know, sugar snowflakes. I've put them on the top so they look pretty. I've never made cookies before, so I don't really know how much to put to spread out. And uh, my first batch should be nearly done they're in the oven and they've spread out quite a lot and I so I've over kind of put too much dough on there so I've kind of done these a bit a bit less so hopefully they'll spread out okay and I don't know whether these sugar snowflakes will melt but I thought they looked quite cool but they smell absolutely delicious um, and I've got my bowl of M&Ms I've separated the red and green from the rest of the packet because I'm going to make um, another recipe. Well, I'm actually going to make an adapted recipe. Again, that I got from um, Pinterest. Which is this kind of Christmas um, popcorn with white chocolate, 
M&M's and candy canes. So I just clicked through and it comes up with the, with the recipe. But um, I don't have all the ingredients because um, it says to make it with vanilla almond bark. So I'm just going to use like normal white chocolate and tip some um, vanilla essence in it. And I don't know what the almond is, but never mind. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to kind of wing that with the ingredients that I've already got. Um, and that will be a nice treat for us for later whilst we're watching the final of Strictly Come Dancing this evening. But I'll show you my cookies when they come out because I'm, I'm quite impressed. But actually I think I'm going to feel really sick soon of all the um, sugar because I keep eating more of the cookie dough than I perhaps should. <laughs> oh dear. Don't they look yummy, scrummy? I don't know if they're a bit too burnt. But um, they look nice, very nice. Just got my popcorn done. So I'm gonna do my popcorny recipe. Uh -huh. Just melting my white chocolate with uh, vanilla essence. And I thought, cause I've got my M and M's and my candy canes. I thought I might add to the mix some little mini marshmallows and also some sprinkles, just to really, really Christmassy up. We'll see. we'll see how we go, but only because I'm excited and I'm in such a lovely time. Got Christmas music playing, John's pottering around, sorting stuff out. Life is good today, life is good. So here we are, this is the results of my efforts. Here's my cookies. They don't look too bad for my first attempt at making cookies. And the snowflakes didn't melt, they look quite cute. But I don't know if these are overcooked for cookies, they're sort of a bit brown. I'm not sure, but you know, I'm sure they'll taste nice. This is my popcorn, not quite um, how it looks in the thing, but never mind. I'm sure it'll be yummy anyway, and we'll just be <laughs> gorging ourselves on treats. We'll probably, I don't know, either get diabetes or maybe have a heart attack or something. I don't know. <laughs> Have a big sugar rush, but just a naughty treat anyway for the weekend. So it's four o'clock and it's dark out, and I feel so sleepy now. It's four o'clock. Yeah. Is it? So I'm just gonna have, I don't know, probably read for a bit or potter around for a bit and then then strictly. What time is strictly on today? Six. Half six, huh? Half six. Oh, so we've only got like two and a half hours before snuggle time. Yay! <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's afternoon tea time. So just brewing some tea. I should have put these in the Clash Christmas mugs, really, but we kind of used these mugs earlier at breakfast, so I've just been using them all day. Saves washing constantly. And I've got a Christmas plate out, ready for my cookies to go on. How many think it's acceptable to have in one sitting? It covers its face, though. Ah, oh, nice. Nice! We've got our pizza and we've got Strictly on the telly. We're happy tonight is a good night. See you tomorrow. Bye.